Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Fiona Anthony and Seida Parvin. This is a game from the Dresden Olympiad, played in 2008. Fiona Anthony had white pieces and she started with e4. Seida Parvin played e5. Bishop to c4, the bishop's opening, maybe. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4, defending. Knight to c6, and now knight to c3. Fiona's pet opening, going for the Vienna game. Bishop to b4, pinning the knight, knight to e2, knight to a5, sharp start by Seida. Fiona castled kingside, knight takes on c4, d takes on c4, bishop takes on c3, knight takes on c3, d6. Black has a better pawn structure, but a white pawn on c4 is quite useful. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight, h6, asking a question. Bishop to h4, g5, unpinning and avoiding knight to d5. Bishop to g3, bishop to e6, attacking the pawn on c4, defending. Queen to e7, perhaps planning to castle queenside. Queen to d3, black to move, castling queenside was expected. Knight to h5 was played. Knight to d5. Bishop takes on d5, c takes on d5, and Seda Parvin castled kingside. Castling queenside seems like a good move, too. Seda castled kingside, queen to f3, knight to g7. Knight to f4 seems like an interesting move, too. Back to our game, knight to g7, intending f5. Queen to d3, f5, f3, f takes on e4, f takes on e4, rook takes rook check, rook takes rook, rook to f8, rook takes rook check, queen takes rook. This is an interesting endgame. White has a good bishop, which looks useless at the moment. But if the bishop can reach the base of the black's pawn chain, he would be a hero. Queen to b5, attacking the pawn on b7, defending. Bishop to f2, attacking the pawn, queen to g4. White to move, queen to d3. If bishop takes on a7, then queen to d1, check. And after king to f2, queen takes on c2, and black is doing well. Back to our game. So in this position we have a queen to d3, a6, c4. Knight to h5. Very interesting moment and decision time. Fiona decided to trade queens and enter the endgame bishop against the knight. Queen to f3, queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, knight to f4. On the surface, black knight is well placed and the position appears to be equal. Do you agree? In this position, white has a winning move. Please pause and find the best move for white. Fiona played bishop to e3. Better was bishop to a7. And one line goes like this. Knight to e2 check, king to g2, knight to c3. Bishop to b8, knight takes on a2, bishop takes on c7. And now, if knight goes to c1, then b4 and white wins. And let's go back. If a5, then bishop takes on a5. And again, white wins. Back to our game. Bishop to e3. King to f7. King to f2. King to g6. White to move. How would you continue now? Bishop to a7 is still winning. King to f6. Bishop to b8. Knight to d3 check. King to e3, knight to c1, king to d2, knight takes on a2, bishop takes on c7, king to e7, let's take it back. If knight to b4, bishop takes on d6 and white wins. King to e7, bishop to a5, and the knight is corralled. b5, c takes on b5, a takes on b5, white play the move and black resigned and the move is b4, black resigned, 
for the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. King to f6, king to c2, king to g6, king to b2, king to h5, king takes knight, g4, f4, pawn takes pawn on f4, e5, f3, bishop to b3, if d takes on e5, d6, king to g6, d7, king to f7, pawn to d8, queen. And I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.